pleasure to be in Bulgaria. And this beautiful city of Sofia. We got a chance to see a little bit of it today. And so I'm excited about what we're going to explore together tonight. And I would like to start with a centering process. A brief meditation. So if you'd like to get comfortable in your seats, take some deep breaths, relax, let us all sing of all your stress and tension to bring yourselves present into this moment. We're going to set an intention for this evening. The intention is that we will all receive exactly what we need. For our highest and best soul growth, happiness and well-being. We create a beautiful dome of protection around this theater. We ask that our spirit guides, ascended masters and teachers assist us. And that we remain in a centered, calm, peaceful place during this presentation. So take some more deep breaths. Feeling this beautiful relaxation moving down through your body. Breathing and relaxing, coming fully present into this room. Thank you. So we're going to begin with a brief introduction to the miracle changes. And after I talk for about a half hour, we will open it up to questions and answers. Then after the break, I will bring through my spirit guides, the founders, and they will talk about December 21st and what to expect for Bulgaria and for the world. So in this introduction, I will cover some of the basic material for some of you, this will be review. For others of you, this will be new information. If you have questions and you want to ask them during the question and answer period, please feel free to come to the microphone and do not worry whether your question sounds intelligent or elegant. I always say there's no such thing as a stupid question. I do have one request, however, that your questions be relevant to all of us and not of a personal nature. For 
example, if you have a problem in your personal relationship, it is acceptable to say, could you speak about enlightened relationships? It would not be it would not be acceptable to say, could you tell me about my relations? Those type of questions are for private sessions. So I thank you for observing that. So let's start with some basic information about the earth changes. First of all, this is not the end of the world. The world is not going to be destroyed on December 21st. We are not all going to disappear in a puff of smoke uh, while our clothes fall to the floor as is indicated in the Christian rapture. I always like to think about how amusing it is if there were such a thing as a rapture. I figure out there are a couple of things that would occur. First of all, if you are left behind, you could go into the used clothing business. <laughs> and if you are taken, then you'll be with a whole lot of naked people. So, it's not going to happen that way. And there's not going to be three days of darkness. That is a misunderstanding of an ancient prophecy. There is a prophecy which, properly translated, states neither day nor night. And what they really mean is neither positive nor negative polarity. What this is referring to is a partial collapse of the electromagnetic field so during the three days of December 2021 and 22, there will be a fluctuation in the electromagnetic field of the Earth. This will cause a opening to occur in the etheric planes. And this opening will allow higher frequencies of light to come into the earth. These frequencies will transform human consciousness. However, not all human beings will respond to this call to awaken. Approximately three-fourths of humanity are not yet ready for the shift. And they will continue to go about their business as usual some of the more sensitive ones will know that something has happened but they won't know what it is but many of their lives will get more and more difficult as time goes on because they are becoming out of phase with the new earth. 
защото те а, ще бъдат в така нареченото извън фаза с състоянието на Земята. The Earth is ascending in vibration. Земята се възнася в своята вибрация. And on December 21st of this year, Earth will become a fourth density planet. Fourth density is the realm of the enlightened human. It is the vibration of souls who are focused on personal and spiritual growth. Това е вибрацията на душите, които са фокусирани върху своята духовно, върху своята духовно израстване. Fourth density human beings are aware that they are co-creators with God. Хората от четвърто ниво са наясно, че те са създатели с Бог. In other words, we are all powerful creators, spiritual beings. С други думи, всички ние сме много силни и способни духовни същества. So those who uh, move with the earth into fourth density are committed not only to their growth, така че тези, които се придвижват в четвърто ниво на плътност, са посветени не само върху своето израстване, but also taking care of our beloved Mother Earth. Но също така и да се грижат за нашата прекрасна любима Мати Земя. Taking responsibility for our thoughts and feelings and actions. За и поемайки отговорност за своите действия. And for how our actions affect the whole of humanity. И как нашите действия оказат влияние върху цялото човечество. So the fourth density humans will build new cities of light. Така че четвърто измерните хора ще построят нови градове на светлина. For some it will begin with extended families. For others, entire villages will emerge from the old system. And as we move into 2013 and beyond, и предвиждайки се напред през 2013 и в едните години, we will witness the beginning of what the Hopi call the fifth world. Ще станем свидетели на това, което аборигенното племе Хопи нарича петия свят. There have been four major civilizations on this planet. Имало до момента четири основни цивилизации на тази планета. The first, which occurred millions of years ago, was called Pangaea or Pangaea. Първият, който се, който е съществувал преди много милиони години, се нарича Лапанагея. The second, which occurred hundreds of thousands of years ago, was called Lemuria. Втората е наричана, която преди стотици хиляди години е съществувала, наричана Лемурия или Мо. The third world, which occurred 20 to 75 thousand years ago was called Atlantis. И третата, която е наречена, която съществува между 20 000 и 70 000 години, е наречена Атлантис. And we are now coming to the close of the fourth civilization. И сега наближаваме края на четвъртата цивилизация. But there will not be massive holocaust. Но определено няма да има масивен цялостен холокост. There will not be Tremendous cataclysm. Няма да има глобални катаклизми. The Armageddon will be extremely limited. Армагедон, така наречената Армагедон, ще бъде изключително лимитиран, ограничен. But there will be apocalypse. Но ще има апокалипс. Апокалипс means to to open the all-seeing eye or to see the truth. Апокалипс по своето същество означава да отворите окото, което вижда всичко и лицялата истина. It means a time of great awakening. Означава време на огромно пробуждане. And although a large percentage of humanity will not make it through the shift, и въпреки, че огромно количество от човечеството няма да, да мине през тази промяна, a large group of souls will, in fact, make it through the shift. Но голяма група от души ще преминат през тази промяна. And the, and the new golden age on earth shall come to pass. И новата златна епоха 
So tonight we're going to explore some of the mechanics and details of that shift. And on Saturday we will go into greater depth on how to prepare for a session. For there is a third reality which I have not yet spoken of. And that is called the fifth density human. Which technically is no longer human. But a crystal light being. A mutation in DNA. Mutation of DNA leading to a new level of evolution for our species. And on Saturday we will go into great depth on ascension. From third to fourth to fifth density. We will take a look at what it is, how it works, and how to get there. So, to reiterate, to summarize, this is an electromagnetic event. And from a scientific point of view, the Earth's axis will be tilted at an angle, which aligns it with a group of quasars, which is located near the center of the Milky Way galaxy, and this electromagnetic energy comes in pulses. These pulses are also known as scalar waves. And these pulses will come in through the poles of the Earth. And will then be distributed along the ley lines or lines of equal uh, electromagnetic force. The energy will collect in the vortexes or vortices. Places where the electromagnetic lines of flux intersect. And this energy will then be distributed into all parts of the Earth. If there are solar flares occurring at the same time, it will augment this phenomenon. It is not yet certain whether this energy will uh, cause the telecommunication systems to fail. But it is recommended that we all come together in sacred places. No, to meditate, the meditation, to pray, the symbolic, to celebrate, the, the prosnova, engage in healthy rituals, the prepriam, the musolni ritual, and to go into the quiet spaces, i do dinama nepitihimesta during the three days. 2021 20, and 22 December. 
It is not recommended to do business as usual on those days. Ne, ne preporučitelno da pravite takane rečeno da radite na toliko normalno, na rabotu. So let us continue our discussion by looking at some of the other fields of study. In other words, let's look at different angles of the discipline. Под различни ръгли или отгледно точно на различните учения това събитие. From a scientific point of view, it is a partial collapse of the electromagnetic field. От научна гледна точка това е частично сриване на електромагнитното поле, частичен сриб. We could say it's a partial flip of the electromagnetic poles. Може да се каже, че е частичен скок на електромагнитния полос и промяна. So how will this affect us psychologically? Така че как ни оказва влияние това психологически? The main experience that we will have is a sense that everything is magnified. Като усещане ще имаме чувството, че всичко е магнифицирано, усилено. Everything is amplified and increased. This applies to our positive emotional state as well as our negative emotional state. And that is why it is so crucial to heal our negative emotions as much as we can before the shift. Ето защо е изключително, изключително, съществено, жизнено важно да излекуваме нашите негативни емоции до тази промяна на вакцията. We are spiritual beings in human bodies. Ние сме духовни същества в човешки тела. And our human self by its very nature is not perfect. И нашата човешка природа не е съвършена. It experiences negativity. Тя преживява негативност, including fear, sadness, anger, and various combinations of those emotions. So it is important that we love and accept ourselves no matter what we are feeling. And to bring our negative emotions into the light of truth и да изведем своите негативни емоции в сърлината на истината. To love our emotions, да обичаме своите емоции, and our human selves, и своите човешко себе. To love our egos, да обичаме своите его структури, to love our intellectual minds, да обичаме нашите интелектуални мове. And in this state of love, и в това състояние на любов, That love is magnified as we go through the portal shift. It is also vitally important to visualize the kind of future we want to create on this planet. What we hold in our consciousness during those three days, will send out a powerful force field of light around the planet. What will we experience as we go through those three days? If we are sensitive and aware of ourselves and energy, ако сме чувствителни и осъзнати в наши тип енергия, ще почувстваме дълбока истинска промяна в себе си. We will know deeply within our being. Ще знаем вътре на дълбоко в своето същество, that we have gone through a doorway into higher consciousness. Че сме преминали през врата към по-високо съзнание. And that we can never go back to our old self. И че никога не бихме могли да се върнем към своето старо себе. 
Does this mean we will no longer have human emotions after December 21st? No, that's not the case. We will still be subject to anger, fear, sadness, etc. But those feelings will be subdominant. No, tezi čustva što bude podominantno. In other words, our larger self will be our fourth density enlightened self. Един вид нашето четвърто дневно себе ще бъде основният ръководител. And our human self will be our little human self. И нашето човешко себе ще бъде малко човече, малко човече, малко човече. We will have a tangible, energetic experience that this is our being and this is our little human self. And so when we do slip into our old human consciousness, it will be a brief experience and we will not stay there for long. Another thing we will notice is that we are becoming less and less like the third density mass consciousness. We will have less and less in common with our family, friends, and relatives It will be as though we live in two different worlds. As we continue to ascend, we will lose interest in most third density activities. We will not seek to deny ourselves the things of this world. But they will simply not hold our interest any longer. Our activities will be focused around bringing light to humanity. Opening our hearts to love and compassion. And listening to inner guidance и да слушаме вътрешното удачество on how to be the most effective at serving our fellow humanity. И как ще бъдем, как да бъдем най-ефективни да служим на своите близки хора. While we will have compassion for those who are suffering, и докато ще имаме състрадание за тези, които страдат, we will no longer take on this suffering. Но няма да приемаме повече това страдание. We will detach from the drama and trauma of the world. But we will not escape or pretend it does not exist. Instead, we will shine the light of truth into the darkest places in this world. We will realize that we are channels for the highest level of healing. As we continue to ascend, our bodies will begin to change. A few of us will stop aging. We will stop getting sick. And eventually we will no longer be at the effect of the environment. A small percentage of humanity will move into the crystal light body. 
Малък процент от човечеството също премина към така нареченото кристално съдено тяло. Тези от нас, които напълно се възнесат в пето изнарение, в пето бъдност, ще бъдат учителите на новата златна епоха. We will go to the various communities of light offering our services. Ще се движиме и с различни общности на светлината, предлагайки нашата служба. So from a psychological and spiritual point of view, it is a beautiful transition. Така че от психологично и духовна гледна точка, това е прекрасен преход. We will talk briefly about the geophysical changes. Ще говорим на кратко за геофизичните промени. Climate. Климат. Earthquakes. Внатресени. Volcanoes. Вулкани. Droughts. Суши. Floods. Наводнения. Severe storms. Силни бури. And various related phenomena. И други подобни феномени. After the break, My guides, the founders, will go into greater depth on some of the changes specifically for Bulgaria. Our beloved planet Earth is a living being. And as she goes through the birth pains of fourth density, и докато тя преминава през така наречените родилни мъртви на четвърто изнарение, израствайки и изниквайки като планета от четвърто изнарение или плътност, ще има размерици и разпадане на системата. Заметресенията и вулканичната дейност ще се увеличат. Droughts and floods will become much more common. Ще има все повече новременно суши и наводнения. Violent storms and extremes of temperature will be common. Ще има много силни жестоки пори и също така много различни температурни инверсии. However, there will always be safe places on the earth. Обаче, винаги ще има сигурни, безопасни места на планетата Земя. This has been guaranteed to us by many, many beings from higher dimensions. Това не е гарантирано от много, много същества от високите измерения. However, this does not mean we are to advocate responsibility for our actions. Това по никакъв начин не означава, че ще не трябва да т.е. трябва да аптекираме от нашите отговорности в никакъв случай. This does not mean we should sit back and expect somebody else to do our work for us. Това не означава, че просто ще седнеме и да очакваме някой друг да свърши нашата работа за нас. Although they have informed us that they will not let us destroy ourselves with weapons of mass destruction, въпреки че са ни информирали, че няма да ни позволят да се нещожим с съсвържи за нас във нещожение, We are still responsible for doing everything we can to bring peace to the world. It is up to us to refuse to give our energy to war and conflict. We must withdraw our energy from things which promote трябва да си вземем обратно енергията от неща, които пропагандират война и конфликт. Ще има економически и политически нестабилности. За много ви казвам в тази страна на нещо ново. А за някои от вас, ви имате адвантажа от това, че вие сте вече върху But for some nations, it may come as a bit of a shock. Even if none of these higher uh, 
uh, events were happening, those who have examined life on earth will conclude that the present way of life on earth is unsustainable. That the resources of the earth are being rapidly depleted. The air, land, and water polluted. And toxic chemicals building up in the bloodstream of human beings. Radiation increasing from nuclear mishaps. Petroleum spills. And many, many other man-made disasters. The economic system under which most of the world lives is unsustainable. It is almost in direct opposition to higher spiritual principles. In the higher dimensions there is infinite abundance. There is more than enough for everyone. As the earth ascends into higher frequencies, the belief in lack, the establishment of systems based on the haves and the have-nots, can and will come to an end. It is up to each of us to heal our thoughts particularly our core negative beliefs including the belief that there's not enough in this world. It has been proven in nuclear physics that this is not true. There is a sea of nearly infinite energy just out of reach. The most important thing governments can spend money and time on is how to harness this infinite field in ways that benefit Mother Earth. Following the shift on December 21st, Many new inventions and discoveries will come forth. And within a few short years, the consciousness will be high enough for new technologies based on this abundance to come forth. So the economic systems under which we currently live will come to an end very shortly. And new enlightened systems will take their place. This transition will not be easy. And the more souls are attached to their way of living, the harder it will be. We are not saying that we must do without material things. 
Това е така че не означава, че ние не казваме, че трябва да се каже в материалните неща. But if we are attached to a certain way of life, it will be more difficult. Ако сме привързани към определен начин на живот, ще бъде много по-добро. My guides will have more to say about the economic changes after the break. Моите водачи ще имат възможност да кажат повече за економическите промени след вече. And they will also discuss briefly the political situation around the world. А също ще обсъдят накрая политическото политическо положение на властта. Including the future of what many have called the dark Illuminati. Също така за някои, които ще обсъдят въпроса за така наречените тъмни Illuminati. And so at this time, let us take questions and answers, perhaps for about 15 minutes. And after the break, I will be doing a channeling with my spirit guides, the founders. And I will be recording it and making CDs and MP3s available at low cost. И ние ще правим запис на това, на интертери, на CD, на CD, запис на ниска цена. Огромния вариант на първата ви книга. Като част на точната среда на пенсионното изравняване на 21.12.2012 се сочи 11 часа по гринвич на същия ден. Докато в печатното издание се сочи 23 часа по гринвич на същия ден. Кое е точното? The energies of the portal shift on December 21st are not confined to a few hours, but have already been building in intensity even though we are still three months away from the ship. There will be, however, some windows of higher energy from December 12th known as 12-12-12 until the end of the month the 31st of December. This is roughly nine days before and nine days after the shift. There will be a very intense heightened period of energy. And between 11 a.m. And 11 p.m. or 2300 hours, e, e, on the 21st, not the vice equality, Greenwich mean time, Greenwich. There will be a peaking of the energy. This peak is approximately 12 hours in width. But the peak of the energy is gradual compared to the day before and the day after. So on December 21st, it is slightly lower than during those hours on the 21st. And on the 22nd, it is slightly lower than on the 21st. If you were to graph the energy, it would look like a bell curve. В зависимост от преобладаващата в него енергия и протежаване на себе на съзнателност. Как неколеризираната енергия през тези 
три дни ще се отрази на личната несъзнателност. Имаше чейна линги. Имаше чейна линги, които се казваше, че много хора ще поводеят, ще загубят съзнание. Yes, let's talk about that. The polarization of the disease is directly proportional to the polarization of the planetary grid. When the polarization of the planet decreases, it has the effect of pushing human beings to depolarize. Има ефекта на натиск на един вид натиск на хората на човешката същества. And so the more polarized we are, the harder it will be to go through the shift. Така че колкото по-полиризиран е всеки един от нас, толкова по-трудно ще му бъде да мине през промяната. If human beings are extremely polarized, ако хората са изключително полиризирани, this drop in the polarization of the planet will cause a disruption in the psychology of such human beings. If we are in a state of balance, Our electromagnetic field is more balanced. And we are more in harmony with this lower polarized field. And it becomes easier to access the higher dimensions. From a technical point of view, this is equivalent to a tunneling effect. От техническа гледна точка, това е един вид тунелен ефект. Which is what happens at the point of zero in a zero point field. В полето на нулевата точка, така наречено поле на нулевата точка. When the polarized field is perfectly balanced, когато поляризираното поле е перфектно балансирано, that point of balance sets up a resonance. Тази точка на полето създава момент на резонанс, which opens a portal into the etheric realms, който отваря портал към етерните пространства или царства. To the enlightened human being, it is as though a Great influx of energy has come into the cell. The prosthetic человек е един вид като много висока светлина енергия се смуква близо до човешкото същество. To a highly polarized being, it is resistance to the new energy. Същество това е съпротивление към тези високи частоти. And resistance causes pain. А съпротивлението причинява болка. I'd like to talk just briefly about the Dharmakarya and from the point of view of what's going to happen to them as the planet increases in vibration. When we become aware of what is taking place in the world, And we shine our light into the dark places. It has the effect of exposing those who have been hiding behind the scenes. And more and more people become aware of these secret organizations. И разбират за тези така прикрити организации, тайни. As our vibration increases, 
we no longer give our power away to these organizations. И докато uh, нашата енергия се увеличава, ние повече не я предаваме, не предаваме своята енергия, не ми предаваме силата си на тези организации. We begin vibrating at a different frequency from the dark illuminati. A few of their members will come to the light. For those that are deep in darkness, life will get more and more difficult. They will get more and more desperate to regain and to retain control of the earth. We are seeing this now in their actions and behavior. They are desperately trying to prop up their banking system. Refusing to see the inevitable end of their system. It is mathematically impossible for their system to continue much longer. If you understand mathematics and debt, and compound interest debt and compound interest and what is called fiat money money printed by a central bank with no precious metal backing you understand that such systems always end in hyperinflation or depression. Uh, and as such uh, new currencies are introduced, new systems are introduced. So the dark Illuminati will do everything they can to try and stay in power. Така че да знаете, че тъмните иллюминати ще направят всичко по силите им да останат на вас. Те няма доброволно да се откажат от своята власт. Но ще бъдат принудени да направят това в момента, в който тяхната честота падна твърде ниско по отношение на честотата на Земята. At some other time, we'll discuss the mechanics of how that occurs. When people are in a high state of consciousness, it affects the world very definitely. If everybody in this room were to go into a state of samadhi, it would make a big difference on the planet. Ако примерно всички в тази зала влязва с изпълнение на сумата, това ще кажа много голямо влияние в целия съм. Казва, че ще има една около нова година, нямате, ще има проблем с мобилното поле и нападно с комуникацията. Това са, и съответно казвате, че е добре да се отдадем на спокойно място, да стоим там и да не тирам. Това значи ли, че в тези три дни няма да може, не е добре да пътуваме или просто няма да е възможно да пътуваме с неща, които са свързани с комуникации за пред и хора да казват? Това е много хубава въпрос. И ако ви се налага да пътувате през тези три дни, I recommend a state of samadhi. Or as close as you can come to it. If you can be in samadhi while you're going through airport security, you can't 
this and that. Uh, if, you, if you can avoid it, avoid it. But if you can't avoid it, then put prayers around the plane. Uh, uh, Имате възможност по-добре да го избегнете такова пътуване, но ако не можете, просто се молете и слагайте ще тук в самолета. И също така се молете за пазачите на летището. И също така, ако трябва да шокирате, просто изпращайте любов и седнена на There probably will be an increase in accidents on those three days. No, it was not only no overreaching in a zoopolk that was existing. But it's not like everybody will get in an accident. No, it's not only the nation of the church is taking steps to stop it. I don't believe all the planes will stop flying on those days. In the event of just such a simulated incident, it should stop the jet. But they might have to use manual radar equipment. No, 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 it was not only that it was not only this cause of national problems. You may not be able to do in-flight internet. You may not be able to watch Rupert Murdoch on your TV screen. Which would be a cause for celebration. My spirit guides started come to me in the late 1980s. My духовни водачи ми се представиха през края на 80-те години. And the, the guides that will be speaking tonight started coming to me about 10 years ago. А водачите, които ще говорят чрез мен тази вечер, се появиха преди около 10 на години. I will be conscious of everything that is taking place. This is not trance channeling. I will be coming about 2% from my guides, the founders. And about 98% from my higher self. You could the city also percent would not wish us. The reason for this is because their frequency is too high to be contained. But the reason for this is because their frequency is too high to be contained. But the reason for this is because their frequency is too high to be contained. Nevertheless, their wisdom will come through quite nicely. Въпреки това, мъдростта ще се появи по един много хубав начин. I will likely rock my body around a little bit in those mouths. Има вероятност, всяка вероятност ще влея тялото си по-малко и ще затворя очите си. My voice will change slightly. Моят глас ще се промени леко. The eyes may open and close. Очите може да се отварят и се отварят. And if you must get up during the channeling, it is okay. И ако ви се налага да станете по време на чана и това не е много претесни. Това не е много претесни. The founders are beings of blue-white light. Основателите ми се явяват като същества от бяло-синкава светлина. They come from what I call level 12 consciousness. И идват от това, което аз наричам 12 на ниво на съзнание. They have never been in human form. They never have been in human form. And therefore, they do not appear in human form in my inner vision. But they were involved in the engineering of the human DNA. No, they were involved in the engineering of the създаването и инженерството на човешката ДНК. И са ни водили цялото човечество от милиони години. 
So I'm going to now turn the rest of the evening over to the founders, and they will talk for probably 30 to 40 minutes, and then have a brief period of questions. Thank you.